Next one from Ingrid. How do I untether from motherhood now that my children are grown? In other words, <laughs> shall I shall I go on or do you got this one? No, keep going. In other words, how do I unhook from roles or at least shift my perception of them when they are either draining me or enabling someone else going to ruin? Ingrid, listen, I, I, I have on either side of me are my sleeping dog children. I don't have human children. I don't know how y'all do it because it is a, first of all, if you're in a similar age range as me, we didn't have the luxury of all this personal development where you can like, you, you're, you're, you're trained, you're better trained how to take care of yourself, how to raise children who can take care of themselves. I mean, we, we were raised by people who weren't trained. And so I would have been untrained. And I would have been right in that role, codependent, losing myself as I'm running around trying to make my life about everybody else in the family but mine. Um, I would have done that too and been miserable and unhappy. So to that, I say, whether you have, you know, had a big career like me or raised a beautiful family who you, you really do love, um, you know, or have been just working at a job for a long time and really couldn't figure out what you wanted to do, but that was good enough. I say this, the realization in the middle of life that's coming for you is you are not your roles. That is not the capital Y, you of you. I, I am a daughter, but that isn't, I, I, it's one of my roles. It isn't just who I am. Like it isn't Sherry, daughter, Sherry, executive producer, Sherry, author, Sherry, sister, Sherry, friend. Those are roles that we inhabit in this life experience. The you you, the true you is, you know, I'll swipe my favorite quote. You're, you're a spiritual being having a human experience. And so what's very challenging for women in the middle of life who've been mothers as they leave the nest is how do you, cause you're like, oh, wow, I really lost myself. How do I get that back? And how do I establish the right kind of relationships with my adult children where they can understand I'm no longer the codependent family servant. Mm -hmm. And here's what I'm going to say. It's practice. And once you change, everything else changes. And for a while, there may be some bristling because people have gotten used to you taking care of everything and sacrificing for them. And so when you're like, no, I'm going on this trip. I'm doing this thing. I'm not available. I'm going to the spa, whatever it is, people will get used to it. And, and they'll get, and they'll be, and they'll be mm, very drawn as you, as you start spewing joy out. Some people won't like it, but the people who really love you will. And so that's what I say, drop the roles, put yourself first. This is a, this is a love problem. This is a love problem where you need to get into the practice of, of loving yourself the most and walking the path of transformation for sure. That's the tea. That was strong. <laughs> that was strong. I get it. it looks hard. Oh, that looks hard <laughs> raising those kids. Oh my Lord Jesus. I mean, you're no picnic dolly. You're how you challenge me all the time. So, but um, it's hard. It's, it's, um, I'm sure it's very hard when you're responsible for somebody not to fix, manage, and control everything and not to understand that the children coming in are more spiritually advanced than you are. You're to learn, they're coming here to teach you, not for you to put them in the box that you were put in and like clip their wings and make them afraid of everything. And that's what was done to you. You don't, and, and yet we think that's what it means to raise children yeah. is lose yourself, especially if you're a woman in absolute devotion 
to fixing, managing, and controlling everything. So it's an opportunity to really expand your consciousness and grow yourself. And everybody benefits. That's what I'm going to say about that.